Hey guys, we're here with Ron Demko from AVX, one of our Empowering Innovation sponsors. He's an applications engineer for AVX. Let's see what perspective he can share on driverless cars. So what's your vision of the future of connected and driverless cars? Connected and driverless cars will become a reality sometimes in the 2020 region. We're already seeing the technology being used uh, with some success in the mining, transport industry, and agricultural industries. And as that technology is proven and used for a few years, it will naturally progress into automobiles. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you think that we'll interact with our vehicles and our environments in the future? Human machine interface is changing the way we interact with vehicles dramatically. Now we have things like uh, gesture recognition with our vehicles. It's quite a bit different from the push buttons of, of years ago. And then at some point in time, we'll even have driver uh, recognition to see the state of the driver, whether they're drowsy or not. Now, how's AVX helping engineers solve their design challenges in the driverless arena? We're breaking up our efforts into uh, reliability improvements, size reductions of components, and harsh environment performance of components. And from that, we're creating whole new families of solutions for design engineers. In some cases, we've created components which even if they were driven into a failure, they still act as a passive component, thus allowing the module to still operate. Uh -huh. now, Ron, what technologies do you think are gonna transform the driving experience of the future? First off, I think that the driving experience is going to be much more efficient. And by that, it's likely that there'll be less congestion, even with more vehicles on the road but there'll also be a much more pleasant driving experience. It's unlikely that you would be uh, lost on a trip. It's unlikely you'll run out of gas, and even possibly much less likely that you'd have a failure. Your car could automatically detect a failure, which is going to happen, thus allowing you to have a, a safe pull-off or to go to a service station prior to being stranded anywhere. It's gonna be a lot better. Definitely. All right, let's talk about automotive safety sensors. Can they be safer than people? Absolutely. Sensors don't get tired. They, they see essentially the same results, whether it's nine in the morning, nine at night, if they've had a long day, et cetera. Okay, here's a big one. Is the future gas, electric, or hydrogen? Fuel efficiency in internal combustion engines has improved dramatically through the years, and it's likely to continue improving. So the internal combustion engine has a lot of distance, a lot of room to grow in terms of overall efficiency just due to simple electronic uh, implementation. Electric vehicles have quite a future and that future will perhaps be somewhat delayed because of the internal combustion engine advantages, but electric vehicles are here to stay. Hydrogen-based vehicles are probably going to make it, but they're so far out that uh, it's a bit hard to, to predict. We should maybe do a recheck on that in a few years. All right, Ron, thanks a lot for your time.